Welcome back to Outdoor Guys. Today, I got an unboxing from the Hookup Tackle. I got the new Shimano Metanium MGLB, and it's the 151XG. It's the eight one to one gear ratio, so I was able to get the last one he had in that gear ratio. They're still hard to get. I've had the Metaniums before, and I don't know, I wasn't that sold on them. It, it felt a little kind of, not cheap, but it felt like, I can't really explain it. It didn't feel like solid to me. So from what I'm hearing, the new Metanium Bs for 2020, they're a lot more solid. But I got um, some NRXs from Ben over at the Hookup Tackle. You can see them right next to me over here. Um, I've been waiting to show you guys them until I got this Metanium because I put my Corrado on there and I just didn't like the way it balanced. So I'm gonna throw the Metanium on there and hopefully it feels good. But honestly, like it doesn't even feel like I got a reel in this package. That's how light it is. Like it don't even feel like a reel should be in this box. So I'm um, excited to show you all that. I'm also gonna show and throw in my Shimano Poison Adrena. I got hanging there with me. This is probably gonna be a long one. I got four rods and a reel to unbox. Definitely go and check out the Hookup Tackle. I'll link the website down in the description below. Ben's an awesome guy. He actually threw some line on this spool for me um, and hooked me up with the rods. Definitely check out his live too on his Instagram. He actually puts baits in the tanks. Like he'll cover a certain topic depending on what day it is and he'll throw the baits in the tank that he has in his shop and you can see the action of all the baits and really get to see, I mean, buying a bait's one thing, but actually seeing it in the water will definitely help you learn how to fish it. All right, um, we're gonna start with the reel, like I said. If you haven't subscribed though, make sure you smash that subscribe button down. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what types of videos you guys wanna see. Also let me know if you got your hands on a new Metanium for 2020 yet and what your thoughts are. Give this video a like if you liked it. Don't forget to hit that notification bell too, guys, so you get all my new content first. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get into this. Hopefully Ben didn't send me no Corona from Arizona. Uh, nah, I think we're good. If he did, I'm sending this thing back. Right, here we go. This thing is so lightweight, it's so nice. And I went on his site and it was, he said he had one left in stock. So I'm like, yeah, this is just meant to be. I had to order it. I don't really need to show you what's in the box. You already know. The oil, got the oil in here. Instruction guide, all the parts, all that heavy stuff. All right, let's see this thing. It's tiny, guys. Like, it is... That's crazy. It's really light. Um, I can tell you more once I get out and fish it. Let me give you some shots of it right there. Like I said, I got 16-pound Sunline fluorocarbon sniper spooled up on this. Ben spooled that out for me. How awesome is that? Them big box stores ain't doing that, so... Support your small local businesses, guys. Even if they're not local, I really enjoy um, ordering stuff from the Hookup Tackle, but yeah, there it is. Try to get it to focus for you, there we go. It's got that metanium right here. And these guys are really strong reels. They might not look like it, but they are. They're definitely workhorses. Like I said, I've owned, this is like a kind of gunmetal color. It's like a grayish silver kind of color, but um, I've owned these, I owned the last metaniums they put out, and um, I had two of them, I wound up selling them, but anyway, I want to put this on the NRX, I think this is going to be perfect for that, I'm probably going to wind up getting a couple more, and then the Shimano Poison Adrena, I have the Corrado DC on that one, and it's it feels great, it's really hard to find a rod where you can put a couple different reels on it, and it still balances, so the Poison Adrena's, I haven't fished it yet, but 
as far as balance and putting a reel on it, it feels great. Um, all right, let's put this on an NRX. I wanted to say two guys, it has the SVS Infinity Braking System right here on the side, so you can set your brakes internally and then you can on the fly adjust them right here so you don't have to crack it back open. The Metanium MGL 151 XGB weighs in at just 6.5 ounces. The higher gear ratios weigh a little more. It has 11 pounds of drag. It's got 11 ball bearings total. 34 inches retrieved per crank. It's a 150 size reel so you're not going to get as much line as you would get on like say your Corrado. The line capacity, 10 pound you get 120 yards and 12 pound you get 110 yards. Power Pro you're gonna get 150 yards of 20 pound, 135 yards of 30 pound, and 105 yards of 40 pound. All right, let's go over some of its features real quick. It has the magnesium core solid body, brass micro module gearing, silent tune, the MG3 spool, the CI4 Plus Star Drag, the SARB ball bearing system, the X-Ship, and the SVS Infinity braking system. All right, the G Loomis NRX, I got the 854, the 894, and the 873. All right, so I'm gonna start with the 7.1. This is rated 5 16 ounce to 3 quarters of an ounce, and this is a heavy, fast action rod. 854C jig and worm rod. You get these rod sleeves with the NRX. Um, mine has, try to get that to focus for you. There you go, mine has the G Loomis uh, letter logo, not the fish one, but the, the newer models, like they put them on. All these NRXs have the split grip cork handles and recoil guides. And this is a seven foot one, guys, okay? So, I've had 6.8s before and, and a 6.6, six, six, but I feel like the problem with that is when you go to a shorter rod, you lose a tip in it, okay? So I, I, I'm definitely leaning towards longer rods these days. They just feel better to me, and I'm a shorter guy. I'm only like 5.6, and I still like a longer rod. I know, you know, you read a lot of stuff, and people are like, well, if you're shorter, you probably like a shorter rod, but I don't really like a 7 foot rod I don't know I guess that's just me but this is a 7-1 so I figured I can use this you know when I'm bank fishing ponds because I do a lot of shore fishing and stuff so all right let's put the reel on got the cork right here on the reel seat all right that definitely I got the metanium on uh, the NRX now and the guys it's definitely I definitely like the balance of it a lot more than when I had the Corrado on it. You kind of feel the weight in these right here. It's kind of a little hard to explain um, right at the real seat, but that definitely helps. I'm not really going to get much lighter than this. So I'm going to fish this and see if I'm going to get a couple more of these, but I'm going to have to stay with a lighter reel for these NRXs. Um, it just makes sense too, but I feel like this will probably feel the same on my other ones, but let me show you the other NRXs that I got, and then we'll go to the Poison Adrena. All right, next up is the G Loomis NRX 873. Now this is a medium heavy fast action rod. This isn't a heavy like my other two. So this has a little wider, I feel like, of a weight rating. It's quarter ounce to three quarters of an ounce. This one has more par parabolic of a bend. The other 854 and 894, I feel like are the most versatile in the NRX lineup. But I also heard this rod right here, which is actually a Carolina rig rod, is very versatile as well. So let's, uh, I'll take this off. Show you guys this one. And this is a 7.3. So I bought all three of these rods for jigs and Texas rigs. So that's what I'm doing with these rods. I have really had a hard time, but I know. <laughs> I know these rod companies do this on purpose of picking just one to try to cover all my bases, but if I went to the 893, I just felt like that was too light for me because you gotta think about it. I, the most common jig weights are like three eighths and half ounce, so in my opinion. But when you put a you know when you put a three eighths ounce jig on, it's not just three eighths of an ounce. You gotta add that weight to your trailer depending on how fat how 
thick it is or how long it is. So you don't want to overload the ride. So I wanted to have that cushion there on all three of these rides so I didn't run into that issue, okay? Because I hate overloading a ride and, and whatever I'm fishing being too heavy for the ride. But this is the 7.3. Um, it definitely feels like it has a lot more tip than um, the heavy. But let's go ahead on to the 8.94, all right? All right, guys, here's the G Lumis NRX 894 C Jig and Worm Rod. And this is a 7.5. And Ben really helped me out with selecting these rods. He helped me more than anybody else really has. He sent me videos of the actions on the different rods in this lineup to help me narrow it down. When you're spending a lot of money on high-end stuff, you definitely want to get it right, especially when you can't walk into somewhere local and put your hands on a rod. Um, I didn't plan on getting three of these. I only wanted one, but I heard, you know, just, just from doing my homework and stuff, there's a lot of good things about all these rods. So I felt like this would cover everything for me. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Okay. Again, this is a 7.5. So I was thinking using this one for, you know, being on a boat at the reservoirs and stuff, maybe for probably deeper water fishing and stuff like that. Like I said, jigs and Texas rigs all day long on these rods. These rods are very light, very, very light. Um, I haven't fished them yet, so once I do, I can you know, give you my thoughts on that. But I've heard so many good things about these rods. There was really no doubt in my mind that they're good. Um, across the board, you heard that, you know, a lot of positive things about these NRX rods, okay? And I had, I've had G Loomis in the past and I sold them and I am a G Loomis fan. Um, there's something about these rods and I want to, I definitely, definitely a rod I need to have in my lineup. Um, this one's got some tip too, the 7.5 and that's what I like. I do not like a broomstick. I like a rod with a lot of tip to it and some backbone. So um, these rods feel just perfect for what I'm trying to do. With a broomstick, I just feel like you can't cast as well and as accurate, so these things should be perfect. I like kind of a longer handle on my rods, even though it might be a 7.5. You got if you got a bigger handle, there's not that much rod out in front of you. You know what I mean? So you can't stress over it too much, like rod length and stuff like that. I used to be stuck in the mindset, like, all right, I need to, I gotta stay with a 6.8 or a 6.6 six because I'm not tall, but. A lot of it, pretty much all of it, is personal preference. So whatever you like, you don't have to do what I'm telling you, but this is what I found that works for me the best, and this is what I prefer. So I figured I would share this stuff with you guys. But all right, the Metanium, I paid 420 bucks for. I wanted to go over two with the NRXs. I got some money off of these rods. I got 25% off of these NRX rods because they're demo rods, and I'll put right in the description below i'll put the link that'll take you right to the demo rod so you can get the same discount depending on who you go through the big box stores aren't going to do it but if you go through the like the mom and pop shops you can get a percentage off of that g loomis nrx line so i did get some money off of all three of these rods which really helped me out a lot because they go all the way up to like 580 bucks and the poison adrena um, I think I paid around 370 for that. I just wanted to let you know what I paid for these things um, so you have an idea in price. But either way, I'll link them down in the description so you guys can find them real easy if you want to buy them and purchase them. Last but not least, I'm going to show you the Poison Adrena. And this is a 7.2 Heavy. Went back and forth a lot with the 7.2 Heavy or the 7.3 Medium Heavy. This Poison Adrena is a 7.2 Heavy Fast Action. This rod also has a very nice tip to it. These rods are kind of like, to compare them, like the Mag Bass rods for Loomis to where they're kind of not technique specific. They're kind of all around rods. This thing is just sick though. I really can't wait to fish this. The handle is very smooth and comfortable, but it still feels like you got a good grip on it. And it also fits my hand really well. I got this rod as well. Check out the handle on it for um, jigs and worms, okay? And Texas rigs. But it's just, this rod is so light in the hand, it's insane. This rod is made by Shimano and Jackal. They paired up, let's see if I can get that in there without hitting anything. 
they uh, paired up and made a ride, and this thing is just sick. They actually did away with this line, came back out with it, and now they're adding rides to this lineup. It's, it's definitely a popular um, lineup. Let me give you the ratings on this. This, is, this ride is rated for 7 sixteenths all the way up to one and a half ounce. Okay, so you got a wide range of stuff you can throw with this ride. I like rides that cover a wide range. It, I think it opens the door for you to be able to use it for more stuff. So that's why I like this ride and this lineup. Like I said before, I got the Corrado DC on here, which is a little bit heavier of a reel, but it's not considered heavy. It's really not. Um, and it balances just fine on here, at least for me anyway. So um, if you're looking to go that route, that reel works fine. Or regular Corrado if you don't really like the DC. But yeah, so that's basically it. I usually like to stay around the $200 price point with my gear. And that's across the board. Some of my DC reels, like my Corrado DCs and stuff, are more expensive, closer to the $300 mark. But I feel like somewhere in between the two and $300, you get the best bang for your buck once you go over that yeah you're getting really nice stuff but you're going to pay for it so that's you know i i go on the high end sometimes i don't need all high-end stuff i really don't but is it nice to have absolutely i wanted to go over this real quick especially if you're new in the bass fishing you don't need to go and spend $400 for a rod. For bottom contact baits, for like what I got these NRXs for, and the Poison Adrena for like jigs where you need to feel the bite, uh, worms, Texas rig, any soft plastic really, I feel like it's necessary. That's my opinion. There's nothing wrong with getting higher end stuff if you got the money, but once you get sucked into it, it just gets worse. So try to stay away from it if you can. I just want to let you know like it's it's totally your call what you want to fish with there's no right and wrong either so I just feel like you should do it for the right reasons I don't really care what people think of the gear I have I did it because it's something that I wanted to do don't feel like you have to do it does it make a difference yeah it does especially but you can cut corners on like top water rods and stuff like that where you don't need to feel the bite you just you know it's visual you're seeing the bite so you don't need that sensitivity there but for me for bottom contact baits it's worth it thanks for tuning in i hope this uh helps you out or you learned something by watching this check out the hookup tackle i've learned a ton just by watching ben putting baits in the tank baits i've never even seen or he did crank baits the other day and like just seeing how they different ones fall in the water column and you know some of them would lay in kind of nose down like a fish eating off the bottom there's a lot of baits out there guys but there's reasons for it a lot of them do a lot of different stuff so um, i always like to learn and check the hookup tackle out on instagram live they've been doing ben's been doing it every night i don't know if he's going to keep doing that once this quarantine's over but um, definitely check that out drop a comment down below guys let me know what you thought of the video i'll link all the tackle the, all the rods and the reel in the description below like i said i'll put the hookup tackles link to their website below so you can order whatever you need he's pretty much got anything he's got a lot of the hard to get stuff um, a lot of the high-end stuff a lot of the stuff that nobody else carries huge mega bass supplier some jdm stuff he's got some you got to check his site out for sure but give this video a like if you liked it don't forget to hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel out please share this video too guys so we can get this channel out there even more i appreciate each and every one of you make sure you hit that notification bell too so you get all my new content first you have officially been outdoored.